Here is the story, Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems. Go ahead, Melinda, flip the page. No shirt, no shoes, no service. There is much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. Number one, they are a little bit rat. Number two, they are a little bit mole. Number three, they are all naked. Well, they were, with one exception. Look! Turn the page, Billy. Wilbur, the naked mole rat, who liked to get dressed. <clears throat> oh, hello. When the other naked mole rats saw him, they said, <clears throat> Ew, yuck. What are you doing? Turn the page. I like clothes, replied Wilbur. When I get dressed, I can be fancy or funny or cool. Or I can just be an astronaut. When the others heard that, they said, Ew, yuck! If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open a store or something? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. Hmm. I'll turn the page. But Wilbur thought that was a great idea. His sign said, fun, warmer, <sighs> try it, and sail. Um. The other naked mole rats did not think it was a good idea. They brought Wilbur to a giant portrait of Grandpa, the oldest, greatest, and most naked mole rat ever. Look at that picture they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. Look. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. Ew, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? <clears throat> naked mole rats don't wear clothes. <clears throat> Why not? asked Wilbur. Something had to be done. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. Grandpa, and then he asked, why not? Hmm, Grandpa was very wise. He thought seriously about everything he had heard. Ah, excuse me. Hmm, then he thought some more. 
Finally, he said in a re heroic, regal voice, Gather the colony. I shall make a proclamation. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. Proclamation, proclamation, proclamation. But he had no idea what to wear. In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe with some socks. Maybe not safe enough. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat <clears throat> and proclaimed Grandpa Fellow naked mole rats I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question Why not? I think that's a deer. Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? Are they fun? Well, they may not be for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. Then Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. As fast as his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. When he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. Number one. Some of the mole rats were naked on that day. Number two, some of the mole rats were clothed on that day of Grandpa's proclamation. And number three, all of the mole rats, all of them, had a great time. No exceptions. And Wilbur continued selling clothes. B -S. Right here. Why not? <clears throat> Hi. Bye. Bye. Did your t teacher give you this gift, Melinda? Yeah. And what grade are you in? Um. Four K. Yeah, and how old four. are you today? Four. Well, thank you for sharing your book. And come over here. I got some.